Alright, what's going on guys? So today this is an updated video on how to root the Nubia Red Magic 6 uh 6 Pro. My previous video I wasn't very loud enough and apparently the music in the background was too loud. Uh I apologize for that. Anyways, this method is much newer and is much more preferred than the older method. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is to enable OEM unlock on the phone. This will be the first step that we will require to be able to root the device. And to enable it, you want to go to your settings, scroll all the way down till you see about the phone, find build number, and you want to tap this seven times. Once you're here, you'll be in developer options and you want to scroll down to you see OEM unlock and you want to tick it on and once you enable it you can now unlock the bootloader alright so the next step we need to do is we need to enter the phone into fast boot mode to do this once your phone is powered on you want to hold the power button and you want to click restart and while it's restarting you want to hold the power button and then volume key down and the power button and then if done correctly you'll be in this menu once we're in this menu we are now going to head over to the computer and you want to plug in a US, uh, the computer you want to plug in the phone to the computer alright so the next step we're going to need to do is to install a tool called fastboot um, windows does not have fastboot baked into the OS uh, we have to actually download it from another source so you want to open up a browser and you want to go to this link I will provide it in the description below and once you're on this page you just want to scroll down until you see download SDK platforms for Windows it's going to give you this agreement thing you just want to agree to it and download once you have downloaded it um, this isn't going to be as simple as clicking on a button and it installs for you we actually have to install it manually and I'm going to show you how to do it so once you have downloaded it, you want to open up the folder and you'll be presented with platform tools. And this folder is actually going to have to go into the C drive in the root directory. What I mean by that is if you go to my C directory, local disk C, I have a folder called platform tools. This folder will need to go into the C directory, um, which is the root directory. So we simply just copy the folder and then you would paste it in the C directory. Uh, it will require administrative privileges. You just want to click yes when it does prompt you for that. Um, and there is another thing we needed to do. Once we have done this, we're not done just yet. We need to add a path variable so that when we run the command in a command prompt, it detects it. What I mean by that is we need to tell the OS that this is a command. This is the fastboot command. We want this to run in a command prompt. To do this, you want to go to advanced system settings and we to, and we need to add an very uh, an environment variable right here. Under advanced, you'll see a button called environment variables. You want to just click that and see where mine it says Android Fastboot I have it under C platform tools yours won't have this you will need to add it to do that you just want to click new and then just name it I don't know Fastboot and then what you would do is you would browse the directory of where you put the Fastboot folder so I believe you would click on this PC local disk C and then you just click the platform tools. Once you have done that, you will need to review your computer, but once you have done that, it will now be installed. On to the next step. Okay, so now that you have your phone in fast boot mode and it's plugged into the computer, we are now ready to unlock the bootloader. Simply to do this, we're going to need to open a command prompt. Um, what I like to do is I just click on the search bar 
type in CMD and I would run this as an administrator click yes okay so this is our command prompt to unlock the bootloader we first want to make sure that um, the device is detected by the computer and to do this you want to type uh, fast boot devices All right, okay so if you see a bunch of random numbers and letters next to fast boot that means that the computer successfully detected the phone to unlock the bootloader all you want to do is type fast boot flashing unlock once you type this in and click enter the phone is going to ask you if you want to unlock the bootloader and to finish up unlocking the bootloader you'll have to actually press the volume key on the phone uh, to confirm yes or no you want to unlock the bootloader using the volume keys unfortunately I can't show you because for whatever reason um, you can't <laughs> relock the bootloader for some reason I have tried multiple times I have tried different commands to relock the bootloader but I can't get my bootloader relocked so just know that once you type in this command uh, you'll be able you'll have to finish the process with the phone uh, I think you just navigate with the volume keys and up and down and to select is the power button alright here comes the fun part we now need to extract the firmware that we downloaded earlier in the video which was the the NX 669J file I believe this is the file um, right here uh, make sure you have this downloaded onto your computer and we're going to need to extract the boot image file from that firmware and we can't do it using the computer itself um, the computer cannot read payload.binaries uh, it can't read a payload.bin file uh, we need a tool that can extract that file um, to do this we're going to use a Python script um, and if you don't have Python installed you can just simply go to the Windows Store type search for Python and you can install all these modules and it should work after that pretty much but um, to extract a payload binary we're going to download the tool which I will provide a link in the description below it should look like this should link to a Google Drive and then we just download it like this all you want to do is you want to drag this folder to your desktop I've already done that I already have a dumper folder the firmware that you downloaded earlier put that next to your folder you want to open it and you'll see a file called payload.bin this is the this is what we're going to extract we're going to drag this file over to payload dumper folder so that means so the payload.bin will be in the payload dumper folder make sure that it's in this folder all right then last step is to extract it how the hell are we going to extract it so we are going to use Windows PowerShell and there's a couple tools there's one extra tool that we will need to install before um, we can actually use it to do this open up a Windows PowerShell type PowerShell uh, run it as an administrator before we do anything else type Python dash M PIP install protobuf this is an additional uh, piece of software for Python that you are going to need in order to extract it but once it's done we need to go to the directory of payload dumper with PowerShell 
To do this, we need to use the change directory command. So you're going to type cd space c then the two dots users uh, backward slash or whatever your name is on the computer. I just my normal name on here is just Ryan slash and then it would be desktop because we have the folder on the desktop. The folder name is called payload dumper and there is an underscore so payload underscore dumper. If we click enter it now goes to that directory. Now to dump or extract the binary. To do this all you need to do is type python and then the name of this script payload dumper payload underscore dumper dot py and then space and then the name of what we're extracting which is payload dot bin so payload dot bin and click enter there you go it should start extracting all the files um, see this file called boot image this is what we're going to use to root our device you will not need to worry about any other files sometimes if it freezes click on the PowerShell menu and just click enter um, sometimes I don't know why but it wants to freeze sometimes uh, if you just click enter it wakes up the PowerShell and it starts doing its thing again so paste it to your desktop and then the boot image boot.img copy that and paste it to your desktop alright now what you want to do is this file the boot image we're gonna to have to copy it back onto our phone because we're going to patch it with Magisk so I'll see you all over on the phone Okay, though, now that you have the boot.image file on your phone, we're going to patch it with Magisk. Go open up a browser and search for Magisk Cannery. Click, it should be the first link, the GitHub website. You want to scroll down, find where it says Magisk Debug, tap that, and download it. Once it's downloaded, uh, you'll probably need to open it up in a file explorer. It'll say for your security, your phone is not allowed to install unknown apps from the source. Uh, to get around this, just go to settings and allow from the source. And then install it. Then go ahead and open it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to install and we're going to select and patch a file. In the browser, or, uh, you want to click your internal storage and you want to scroll down. So you find that the boot image file go ahead and tap it and then you want to click let's go and then what this is going to do is going to uh, patch the boot image now go back to your file manager and when you go to download the new image that's patched is in this file in this file we're going to copy it back to our computer. This file will have to go back to our computer. So I'll see you all over at the computer. Alright so now that we've patched the boot image we're gonna go back to the computer we're gonna plug in our phone and we're gonna drag that file back to the computer. Uh, click on your Red Magic 6 and I think it's in the download folder I believe yep it's this file right here see where it says magisk patched you want to go ahead and drag that to the computer now the next step we're gonna do is you want to go ahead and power off your phone when you turn it on go back to fast boot mode hold the power button and then 
press the volume key down button at the same time and then you should be in fast boot mode and I'm actually going to do that right now make sure the phone is still plugged into the computer by the way okay so this file here we're going to need to rename it um, there are a bunch of gibberish letters you just want to get rid of those to where it's only named magisk underscore patched dot image just like this so go to properties this is how it's named magisk underscore patch dot image last but not least once you're in fast boot mode and the phone is plugged into the computer we are now ready to root the phone what we need to do is open up a command prompt type in cmd run as administrator uh, go to your directory cd uh, c mine is users desktop just like that and then to uh, now in the old method in my previous video what I did was I would type fast boot flash boot we don't want to do that anymore we don't want to do that anymore instead what we need to do is fast boot boot and then the name of this file so you would type a disk patched dot image and what this means is it's not actually uh, flashing the boot image it's just booting it temporarily to this boot image it's temporarily rooting the phone to keep the phone rooted when the phone boots up we're going to go back to the Magisk app and we're going to patch it. So we're going to go back to our phone. Okay, so now we've booted the phone up. Um, it should have automatically booted up. If we open up Magisk, we'll notice that it is installed, but it won't be installed forever. To keep it, uh, if we want the root to be permanent, just simply tap install. And now you want to do direct install recommended. And there, you now have Magisk, and your phone is now rooted. If you have any questions, leave some comments, and I will do my best to try to answer your questions. Thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe for more future videos. This is Big R, and I'm...